You guys did it. But I'll be damned. You guys did it. I'm so proud of you, Internet. Give me high five. I can't give you a hug, but I'll give you a high five. High five. Yeah. You guys did it. That's right. You did it. Microsoft finally listened. Everything that's been going on. All the policies, all the Internet checkups, everything is gone. No more 24-hour checks. No more uh, not being able to uh, let your friend use games or play use games. It'll be just like the Xbox 360. No more region locking. Also, now the only thing I don't know is if the Connect. That's kind of a another thing. The Connect is well, not everybody wants it, you know, because it listens to you. It might even watch you. So don't don't play that. I don't. It'll probably be watching you. And nobody really wants it. So what if did they change that too? If you remove the Connect, will the console still freeze up? Because that's what obviously will happen. It's, a, it's mandatory. It's mandatory to have your Kinect plugged in. If it's not plugged in, you can't use the console. That's a big problem. So I wonder if they're going to change that also. Also, to be more competitive with Sony, they should sell it separately. If they do decide to change the Kinect and not make it mandatory, they should sell it separately and lower the Xbox One to $400 to be more competitive. Because after all, people hear the one word, powerful. All you need to hear is the PlayStation 4 is a little bit more powerful than the Xbox One, and they're more likely going to jump to it. Unless they have a franchise that they love, like Halo. If you love Halo, you're going to have to get the Xbox One. You love Uncharted, you're going to got to get the damn PlayStation 4. It don't matter. You can just get them both and live in both best of both worlds. Just have them both. Not a problem. So, I'm just trying to see my best way here to, to help Microsoft out, to, you know. I'll probably not really help them, but I'll help them by buying a console, of course. But 500 bucks compared to $400. For the PS4, I don't know if this, they're going to be selling the camera. So, that's one thing I don't know. If you guys know, uh, leave a comment below if they're selling the camera with the PS4. If they're selling the camera with the PS4 for 400 bucks, that's, that's a pretty damn good deal. That's a really good deal. But if they're not, it still doesn't matter, and not everybody cares about the camera. People just want to play video games. Nobody wants to touch their TVs and act the fool in front of the TV, you know. We don't really want to do that. So, I want to know what you guys think. Did Microsoft pull all these BS lately in E3? Did it damage your relationship with them? Did you probably, I don't know, probably some of the Xbox fanboys probably went over to the PS3 and all the pre PS4. And already pre-ordered the PS4. So, would you guys not consider getting an Xbox? Is it too late? You don't trust them anymore? I don't know what you guys feel. Leave it in the comment below. And as always, I'll talk to you later.